Hello everyone, this is Ashok. In this video, we will understand how to take Jenkins full backup and how to restore jobs from the backup using thin backup plugin. Watch this video till the end to understand complete process. Before getting started, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates. I logged in into my Jenkins account. Now, in order to take the backup, we need to install backup plugin. To install the plugin, go to manage Jenkins and plugins and here you can search for backup plugin. I have already installed the plugin, so I am checking that in the installed plugins section. If you don't have installed that, you can go to available plugins and you can search for that. Once you have installed that plugin under manage section, you can see thin backup option here. Once you click on that thin backup, you can see three options backup now, restore and settings. Go and configure settings for the backup. Click on settings. Here it will ask some information. Backup directory. Where you want to store your backup? You can give the path of that directory. I have given that path. Backup schedule for full backup. You can configure cron expression. How frequently you want to take the backup. If you configure 5 stars, it will take for every minute. If you configure H for every hour, it is going to take the backup. Based on the requirement, you can configure the schedule. And how many backups you want to maintain. So here you can give the number, how many backups you want to maintain. If you give 10, 10 backups will be maintained. When the 11th backup is created, first backup will be deleted. And here you can choose the settings based on your requirement. I have selected some options here. Then finally click on save. Now go to Jenkins, go to thin backup and here you can click on option backup now. I have done the backup now. Now verify LSFNL. So just now I have taken the backup. The backup is created under given backup directory. If you go inside that backup directory, you can see all the files which are stored. XML files and all our jobs are stored and plugins are there. Whatever is there in the backup, complete full backup is created here. Now go to Jenkins. Here I have three jobs. I'm taking one job called test job. Let's go inside that job. This job is already executed once. So you can see the build number also. Now I'm going to delete that job. Click on that job and delete. Now my Jenkins job is deleted. Already I have taken the backup. Now I want to restore the job from the backup. Go to manage Jenkins. Go to thin backup and there is an option called restore. Click on that. Here you select which from which backup you want to restore. We have one backup now. I'm selecting that backup in the drop down. Click on restore. So once I have done that restore, that backup will be restored. But currently it is not reflecting here. For that we need to restart our Jenkins server. Let's go to the Jenkins URL. We have done Jenkins restart now. Jenkins is getting restarted. Login into Jenkins again. Once Jenkins restarted, we can see whatever the job that we deleted, we are able to get it back from the Jenkins backup. Go to that job and see the builds also restored or not. Yes, one build was there, that build also got restored. I hope you understood how to take the Jenkins backup and how to restore the backup. Thanks for watching this video. Please like this and subscribe to our channel for more updates.